in this video, I would like to clarify something I think is very important and I didn't do a good job at explaining it in the last video. And it has to do with this, PX results. You will encounter this many times when working on Pega applications. In the Pages and Classes tab, the declaration of a data page, the class code Pega list, along with the same data page, but with PX results appended under the correct class. So why is this the way to do it? Well, Pega provides many out of the box functionalities, and this is one of those. When dealing with data pages of type list, Pega uses this class named code Pega list, which contains many properties that help describe the scale of information that we do when we want to retrieve information from a data page. So if we open this class in the App Explorer, you will see all the properties of this class. When running a data page of type list, we can notice many of those properties are on the results of the run. So this page of class code Pega list contains a description of what was just done, the call of information. And within this page, a page list property exists where results were retrieved into, that will be PX results. So we define the pages and classes tab or data page with the class code Pega list and its page list PX results with the class of our actual data type. We do this in order to access the correct properties for both, for the main page and the page list within it. Notice here how we have access to the properties from code Pega list from this class. And when I enter PX results, now from here I have access to the properties from my class. Just remember that this is a page list, so we need an index.